Hello and welcome back to InDesign. This time we're going to be looking at swatches and also object styles. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, blank frame. Uh, so this means that basically these both be empty over here. So then we can basically apply some things to them, right? So for example, let's just do a color. Now if we want to add a color, what I actually want to show first is how to add a swatch. So let's actually use a swatch color instead. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can click on swatches there, and we're going to do new color swatch. And this is where you can basically add a color. You get the choice to choose from a bunch of different colors. Um, I was looking and wondering why Pantone wasn't in here, because I remember it being in here. And basically, Pantone is no longer in there. Um, I looked it up. It's like $100 or something like that. Uh, the Probably the best one left is probably these uh, Japanese ones here, I would think. Um, so basically, you can choose your color from there, right? And so you could choose whatever color you want. Uh, they've got some good like uh, pastel shades and stuff like that. So for instance, we could do that. And that will fill with that in with that. Um, and so another thing that I did want to show in the swatches panel was if you wanted to actually choose a color slightly differently. Um, obviously, like let's do, I was trying to think of like a minty color. I was going to see if I can actually work out how to get there. Yeah, I couldn't find it, so I just put it in there. Uh, that's the mint color. Um, so basically, what you can do with this, right, is Unlike with the the other colors in the, the Toyo thing, uh, with this, you can actually change this, right? So I could do like, call that like Minty or something like that, right? So you can see we've got Minty and now it gets added to the swatches panel. Um, so for instance, let's try doing something on the stroke as well. All right, so where would this go? This could go, let's try that one then. So we're going to swatch options there, right? Then we can actually change it. All right, so we've got our shapes. We've got basically what we want here, right? So what can we do with this? So what can we do with this? When we look at object styles. We can go, say, let's get a new object style, right? And in this box, we can basically see everything in the object style. So if we look at the fill, you can see that's uh, minty. If we look at the stroke, you can see it's the mint uh, op or whatever. Um, and it shows me the uh, the different things that I chose. And there's also, it basically go, it's basically all the different um, panels here in a kind of convenient little um, thing with Jig here, right? Um, and then you can choose different things if you're using text. And, but yeah, so that's all you get for that. And basically, so we can say that this is going to be like, um, I mean, kind of, right? So that's the total mint style, right? So what that means basically is now that you've got a, a, your object style, we could, for instance, draw, let's draw uh, a bunch of ellipses, right? So we'll draw, uh, and then we'll do, press up, yep, yeah, arrow to get uh, many more. And we could do that. And then we can go to object style and we go total mint. So that's way, a way you could do like a, a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, I never knew that would happen. Uh, we're kind of going a little bit off uh, piece at this point. Actually, it does look a little bit more organic when you do stuff like that, though. But if this whole thing was smaller, right? It would look even better. We'll have a little bit of the color in there, right? But yeah, anyway, that is going to do for this video. So thanks for watching.